In this lesson, we'll be discussing Markov chains, which is an application of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. A Markov chain is a model of some random process that happens over time. Markov chains are called this because they follow a rule called the Markov property. The Markov property says that whatever happens next in a process only depends on how it is right now, the state. It doesn't have a memory of how it was before. Let's go on to answer the question. Suppose that at some initial point in time, 100,000 people live in a certain city and 25,000 live in its suburb. The Regional Planning Commission determines that each year 5% of the city population moves to the suburbs and 3% of the suburban population moves to the city. Over the long term, how will the population be distributed between the city and its suburbs? Remember that there is a combined number of people of 125,000. That will come in handy later on. 125,000 people totaling in this area. The first thing that I want to do is represent these percentages in a matrix. So we have the current state, state one of the city, and the new state of the suburb. And similarly, state one of the city and state two of the suburb. The current state of the city is that it will be losing 5% each year. So to represent that, I'll write down 95% of the current state. On top of that, the new state for the city will be an addition of 0.03% coming from the suburb. For the suburb, its current state is 0.97. Just pretend that 3% just left and it is gaining 0.05 from the city. The matrix that we just made here is actually a very special matrix. The entries of each column vectors are positive and their sum is one. Take a look. If we add these up, we get one, and if we add these up, we end up with one. These vectors are called probability vectors. A matrix for which all the column vectors are probability vectors is called a transition or a stochastic matrix. Let me write that down. So this is our transition matrix. What we're looking to solve in this question is the steady state vector, which I'll represent as this sub zero. The steady state vector is defined as the transition matrix, which we've called P for simplicity, times the steady state vector is equal to an eigenvalue of one times the steady state vector. If I rearrange this where I bring this over, and I get p x sub 0 minus x sub 0 is equal to 0. And I factor out the steady state vector. I have p minus the eigenvector of 1 times the identity matrix is equal to 0. The identity matrix, so let me just rewrite this part, 0 0.95, 0 0.03, 0 0.05, 0 0.97, minus 1, 1, 0, and 0. Subtracting that element from that element gives us 0 0.05. That stays the way it is. That stays the way it is. And that becomes negative 0 0.03. So this matrix corresponds to that. And that is being multiplied to the steady state vector, which I'll call x sub 1 and x sub 2. That is equal to 0 and 0, our matrix, on this side. If we go ahead now and solve this, I'll call this row 1, row 2, where row 2 is a combination of r1 plus r2. Adding these two up, we get the top row stays the way it is. That becomes 0. And that also becomes zero. The top remains the way it is. And this part remains also the same. Setting this column as my parameter, x sub two is equal to t, I can now go ahead and solve this. Think of it this way. We have negative 0 0.05 x sub one plus 0 0.03 t is equal to zero. x sub one is equal to, that being transferred over, negative 0 0.03 t over negative 0 0.05, and we get 3 over 5t is x sub 1. 
So our steady state vector is defined as 3 over 5t and t, or simply 1 underneath here times t. Now because the columns of the transition matrix added to 1, x sub 1 and x sub 2 should equal to 1. So I'll replace this part with 3 over 5t, and this part with 1t is equal to 1. Subsequently, solving for t is 5 over 8. Therefore, 3 over 5 times 5 over 8 and 1 times 5 over 8 gives us what x sub 1 and x sub 2 should be. x sub 1 is the product of these two. That's 3 over 8. And x sub 2 is 5 over 8. If x sub 1 represents the city, and this represents the suburb, all we have to do now is take 125,000, multiply it by 3 over 8. This will tell us what the city population will be over time. And this will tell us the suburb population over a period of time. 125,000 times 3 over 8. That's the city population. And this is the suburb population. And so there you have it, an application involving Markov's chains.